Hello and welcome to Oodly Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Aquarius. So if Aquarius is your solar, lunar, ascendant, slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. Oop. <laughs> let's get started. Everything is just discombobbled tonight. The cat came walking through here just before I started. And so, <laughs> let's check out these tea leaves. Okay. All right. So, the card that I pulled for tonight's reading is the Three of Discs, which is related to works. This is a card that has the attributes of teamwork, learning, collaboration, dedication, self-development through work. Self-work, maybe um, in the physical exercise, um, intentional movement, learning skills, these kinds of things. All right. Now, I am seeing a lot of movement in, in these figures here. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, my goodness. Okay, so... Interesting. Okay. I want to look at this one first because this is such a, it looks so clear to me, um, a person walking, okay, um, and definitely a state of movement, arms swinging, feet moving, um, they have the crescent moon above their head, uh, just really um, on their way. Now, right behind them is it looks like kind of a scary uh, head with the mouth wide open, kind of lingering behind them. So I feel that there is definitely a sense of anxiety going on. Um, there's something that has arisen. Um, you seem to be having some trouble kind of... Um, Getting the, getting the things ironed out, right? All the fine details. I think that there's uh, a sense of wanting to change something, transformation of some kind. Um, it maybe is a big thing. These are large formations in the bowl here. They take up most of, um, most of the, of the cup, right? Or the, well, it's a bowl. But, um, it just seems like, there's a lot of kind of uh, little details floating around. A lot of what ifs. A lot of how do I do get this done. Um, and kind of this feeling of that just lingering like anxiety, self-doubt. Okay. Now, I want to look at, we look at it this way. And I'm seeing, it looks like a person kind of standing on some kind of, like some kind of animal maybe, or vehicle. I almost think of this like, uh, like some kind of mechanical, um, <laughs> like mechanical beast or something. And uh, a person kind of controlling it with levers. Now it looks like it's reaching out and kind of grabbing this dragon. Okay, and if can you see the dragon there with the head and the body and it seems like it's just kind of being lifted up now I think that this has so much to do with the dragon being a sign of um, that anxiety turning into anger I do think that you are really trying to keep that under control trying to keep that um, instinct to just flip out, <laughs> lose your patience, 
um, trying to really, really hold it together. Uh, I do believe because we have that three of discs, this is all about needing somebody's help, needing a group of people's help. Okay. So I think you are really dedicated to, um, you know, being in control of your emotions, how you communicate with others, because Aquarius, you have to ask for help. You need some assistance. And, um, this, this is not easy for you. Letting go of your pride and asking for help. Oh, that's a big task. That's a big ask of yourself, right? Um, so we also have uh, this kind of mechanical beast uh, holding on to a flag. And that, in my estimation, this is kind of that, not flag of surrender, but truth, okay? Um, I think you're having to make some diplomatic movements um with people in your life maybe holding your tongue a bit um so that you can get the assistance that you need okay now how are they going to be helping you uh we gotta look maybe this is uh you know literally they're coming to help you move um well, see, and when we turn it this way, it does. It looks like a person on top. It almost looks like a um, they are on a person standing on a um, like a dinosaur or something, still holding the neck of that dragon, still holding that flag as well. Okay, and then. Here, okay, so now on this side, it really looks like this, it's been vanquished, this anger. I do believe that through this, and we have, it almost looks like, um, do you all remember, you might, this will age me as well, uh, that, what was that show called, Duck Man? Uh, it reminds me of the, <laughs> the duck head from that. Um, but, and then the body, okay, and, um, kind of has, <laughs> these are kind of mean images here, the foot on the, of the fallen dragon, but the dragon is the anger, the anxiety, the anger, um, the, kind of the, um, instinct to lash out, right, that's, instead of doing that though, you've really done well with, um, getting those emotions under control. Right. And I think that getting into this place of, um, at asking for help, putting aside those, um, putting aside that feeling of, you know, pride. I never ask for, you know, um, for anybody's help or, I never asked for somebody to, and I'm thinking like, okay, maybe you're like moving or something. Maybe, um, you know, you're asking somebody to come help you move, which uh, who likes that call, but we show up, right? We show up for our family, for the people we love. Um, maybe this is financial. That's even harder, right? Asking somebody to help you financially. That's really difficult. Um, but this could also be, you know, like figuring out the logistics of things, um, you know, having somebody, uh, I don't know, watch your dog or something. Um, but whatever it is, I think that this is going to put you into a better place. It might even strengthen your relationship with this person because you don't ask people for help and they know that. They think that, um, you know, you must really, really love and care for them and trust them if you are going to be um, kind of vulnerable in this way. Uh, and then I see up here we have a butterfly, right? And what does the butterfly mean? Transformation, metamorphosis, growing into um, something other than you are in that moment, that strength coming together, 
<laughs> getting over that wall that you have of, uh, you know, just not, not wanting. I mean, even for me thinking about it, I don't like asking for, I don't like owing people anything or them having the idea that I might owe them something. <sighs> that That's anxiety, but you know what? Sometimes we just need it. We need, we need the help and that's okay. That's all right. What's the worst they can really say is no, right? Okay. Let's see. Now <laughs> I see a person up here. I've been trying to figure out what is this? Uh, we have a person grabbing a squirrel. It looks like by the foot, here's the tail, here's the little squirrel, here's the person's arm, okay? Um, and I think, you know, oftentimes the squirrel is either like attention or saving, right? Squirreling away. So I think that, you know, after we get through this cycle, it's important that we start kind of saving saving something. I don't know, financially, maybe, um, your energies, uh, you know, putting, putting some of your, I don't even know. I think, you know, I, I would say that it's probably financial, um, just because the squirrel put in squirreling away is often, you know, saving for a rainy day, saving for, um, having that little nut, right? So, um, a good time to start saving, I think. And that, you know, if you are able to do that uh, and not touch that savings, that is always, you know, makes you feel a little bit better. I also see we have a fish here. Here's the tail and there's a bit. So we have um, a sign of uh, abundance, right? So maybe, you know, it will be things will be, um, turning towards you having something to save, you know, once we're getting through this, whatever's going on, um, whatever thing is happening, uh, you're going to be in a better position afterwards. I really do feel that. Okay. So then on this side, and this is the person walking, but turned upside down, we have a face here, with the eyes and the nose and uh, the little mouth here. Okay. And kind of just, um, it kind of is winking. It looks like, um, <laughs> we have another face over here, um, kind of in a more silly posture. Um, so I feel like there's just, um, a sense of getting to a better place through all of this. Okay, I see a person here kind of squatting next to a fire. And then up here, it looks like the sacred ibis. Okay, so uh, the sacred ibis uh, related to Thoth, but also just magic in general. The person next to the fire, I, I just, I feel that um, there is a sense of really being able to, um, dig into yourself to kind of arrange things in such a way that you're going to make some magic happen. You're a resourceful person. Um, it might take a lot of planning and a little bit of luck, but I think that is there for you. Now, the big thing is going to be maintaining your cool. Um, doing some of that mindfulness, breathing, stress reduction. Okay. That's going to be your biggest enemy in all of this is that dragon, that, um, movement towards losing your patience. Okay. Um, but I think that, you know, you, ha you have all of the tools to make it work for you. Okay. And now we don't really have anything here. So I'm not going to even read that, but I am going to say thank you so much for spending this time with me. Um, I appreciate you and allowing me to bring these messages to you. Uh, it is always such an honor. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it helps me. I should say it helps us. 
it helps the community, the channel, uh, get into the algorithm. And we really are growing the community here. We're getting more and more subscribers every day. So thank you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Um, let's see. Yeah. I'm getting to the end of my readings here, so for the night, and I just, I start, my mind wanders a bit, uh, but yes, so if you want to comment, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing, let me know what's going on with you, uh, I really do love hearing from each and every one of you, I read all of the comments, and I try to get back to them quickly, um, it might take a day or two, though, this summer has been so busy, so, um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll talk again in just a few days.